talk about how to judge information, how to make sure it's accurate on the web and the fake websites and how you judge them. And also searching techniques because our kids really struggle with searching. Oh, yeah. So um, we decided to do a little hook. We got them like in an old website. So we created a little Pixton. Just, you know, kind of a little hook, a little something fun. And, you know, we talk about how, as a group, we're going to show some bogus websites. How do you discuss them? You know, what's the best way to decide? And have the class come up with it, kind of like they did here. And then we want them to judge them, so we thought we'd use the tool Slick and have them pull up side by side two websites. They can compare and contrast whether they're good or not, um, whether they're for what they actually need to use. Um, and then we talk about search terms. How do you find out the best term for your search, you know, and what are the different words you would use? Um, so then you would get to, we want them to create kind of the assessment tool, their own Symbaloo, so that at the end they have like the best websites for searching for pro and con issues, which, you know, would be the, the Blick, or it might be the best website that, um, that really, you know, has no ads because you it's little kids or something. So we wanted to create a little simple loop and for the best um, search engines and stop using Google for a little bit. And then they can kind of carry this with them for their three, four years, create their own databases and wow. it's like an organizational tool that right. when they leave school they take it with them. It's always there. So so that's what we're worked on this week. It's like Tom was talking about this morning about curation. So yeah. it's not just you don't just do a project in like for two weeks and then that's it. You never go back to it. Right. You never carry it forward. You don't ask right. connected to anything. Right. And so here yeah, because with these digital tools, then you can you can collect artifacts over and you then build. and then you can use continue that into your professional life. Yes, into your college yeah, career, right, whatever you right, choose to do. Right. And, and as librarians, we get the kids for four years. Right. So we want to build small, and then each mm. year when the English department say, okay, you're doing your huge sophomore paper, you now need this kind of information. Let's add these to your Symbaloo. Right. And then they understand what, I think they get overwhelmed. They don't know the difference between a search engine and a database, right. and the books in the library. Like, how do they put that all together? So we're right. kind of slowly building it for them. When they leave, they have a sense of what's the best resource I need for this project. Right. I need an encyclopedia. I need an online, you know, database to get articles. I need right. so. So that's what we're hoping we create at the end of it. That's week. great. Yeah. Wow. It'll be so by December. What do you think you'll have? What do we think we'll have? Yeah. What do you mean? So when we come back here in December, what oh, do you think? Oh, I hope that we've walked the freshmen through creating their own, like this entire wow. project. So at least the kids are starting creating their own symbol. I'm hoping to get my freshman class there. Oh, good. Wow. That'll be great. <laughs> I would be. <laughs> I know. Well, 